Hi everyone, um, I'm going to show you how to play Rain of Love. It's a pretty simple song. Um, this main riff that repeats like, uh, sorry I'll take this down. This main riff that repeats like four or five times. Um, I'll play it through it, through it once real quick here for you. Uh, okay. Uh, sorry if I'm uh, not playing it too good. I have to retrain the camera. several times um okay there's this one if you walk paid really close attention you notice there was this one area I kept coming back to and it's the beginning area um, first I'll show you kind of the pattern that you do you're always gonna be playing two notes on your left hand and you start with these two low D's this is middle C you go you go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, you're always going to be playing t both notes together and then tapping the, uh, what do you call it? The high, the high note like four times. So like, and then on the uh, left hand, right hand, you have A and then D and F sharp. So you go like this. So you kind of go up in sets of three, like left hand, uh, A, D, F sharp. So it's like, okay. So it's like you're always doing one, two, three, one, two, three. If you if you listen closely, if I play at full speed, you can hear one, two, three, one, two, three. So you do so. Not necessarily like four times. Uh, it's actually twice like that, if you noticed. And then A, A and E. And you're tapping the E, of course. So and then A, and then D, E, and G. So. So it goes, this is the left hand. Uh, okay, so. Pretty much, okay. So I'll play this first part slowly. Uh, okay, so. Full speed. Okay, and that's the thing you're always going to be coming back to is that section. Okay, so just remember that section, you'll be good. Um, the next section is G's. Okay, and then B, and then D and G. Okay, so. So and then you're gonna you're gonna keep with the uh, that for two sections. It's gonna go the G's and then D and F sharp. And you're gonna keep with the B and the D and G, so again you're gonna do this for uh, what I've noticed happens is you do like one two one two one two three four one two one two one two three four so 
like one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So the last one always has four, so. to this. And same thing. But instead of A and E, you go to A and C sharp. Okay, so from the very beginning. again. Then you get into my favorite part. Okay, this part's a little more advanced. Um, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing um, B, and, B and D. sharp and D and G and D and then uh, up here um, so you're going to be doing F sharp and uh, B and D so it's like then when you get to the F sharp and D it's going to be A and then D F sharp an A. Okay, so it's from this part. Then G and D, you do B, and then D, G, and B. Okay, so it's like... That, that's what the progression is, so... four times like that, like I already told you. And then you're going to keep with the B and D, G, and B, and you're going to play G and B. So, an A and A sharp, so. Keeping with the same right hand. back to the D's like that, okay? And then you're going to go to A, D, F sharp, and A again, okay? Alright, and you're going to do this four times, okay? So... But on the last two times, you're going to leave out this A and go back to the A and D sharp and F sharp, okay? So like... Um, it goes so and then G and D and A and E like that okay so uh, and then sorry uh, B and D and F sharp And then if you're, then you know, you repeat this whole thing like several times. Um, I think I will stop it here and make a small part two, um, just kind of showing a quick run through of it and uh, showing you how to do the ending and stuff. So uh, yeah, quick uh, quick part two. So go to that.